NASA loves acronyms, and so I just simply abbreviated microwave radiometer as MWR. From its name, it's, 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 uh, it measures the radiation in the, in the microwave region. Now that sounds like you know, a lot of highfalutin uh, uh, scientific terms, but it's really uh, pretty simple. What we're actually doing is measuring the thermal radiation from the atmosphere of Jupiter beneath the clouds. And at every wavelength, we have six wavelengths on, on the instrument. Every wavelength is designed to look at a different region of the atmosphere, measure the thermal radiation coming up from, from, uh, from some different region in the atmosphere. And uh, by measuring them with the spacecraft, we'll be able to put that together into a picture, uh, you know, a, a three-dimensional picture of the atmosphere, atmospheric structure of Jupiter. What we've come up with um, as, as the most effective way to, to build an antenna is a big flat array that's about five feet square all the way around. It, it's as big as the side of a spacecraft, which is not a coincidence because we sort of sized the spacecraft to hold an antenna for our longest wavelength. Now, the other wavelengths are progressively smaller by factors of two at every step. So it turns out another side of the spacecraft can hold all of the rest. So we have no idea what we're going to see uh, because nobody's ever seen this region before. Uh, so um, it's, it's going to be a surprise to, to all of us when we, when we get, the, get the information back. So uh, you know, we expect to discover all sorts of new things.